Hello everybody, we are back in Pittsburgh. Yeah, one of our favorite cities in the entire world. And tonight we are at Carnegie Science Center. Yes, we are. What are we doing? Uh, 21 and overnight, Innsburg. 20... <laughs> A salute <laughs> to all themed Pittsburgh and Yinzer. Yinzer. And I don't have my Yinzer accent down. I know you, you do. But well, yeah, we had to drive through downtown to get here. Yins, yins. That's all I've got. That's all I've got for you guys. So anyway, I'm gonna <laughs> learn everything yins are tonight, including the science behind the famous waiting cookie table. Um, there are some local Pittsburgh uh, book authors here. There are some science nerds teaching us some fun things. And what else? Oh, actually, we can get in to the mummies. Really? You can. You can get into the mummies, and I know we did um, a video on the mummies. Uh, of the world exhibit and i will put that link in the description box because it really is worth a look it's, it's a complete like walk right on. having said that a huge thank you to carnegie science center for hosting us Absolutely. tonight giving us the tickets and giving us the chance to have fun right what do you want to do first science science and beer that was my salute to thomas get a Dolby beer and have some science <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, good. we can't wait to show you what's going on. I think our first stop is going to be the first floor. As soon as it opens, we're here a little bit early. But other than that, we are ready to go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh -huh. That's as good as it gets, man. <laughs> that way. It's working. <laughs> Press, and if you didn't know, I'm writing a book <laughs> called Pittsburgh, A Guide to the Weird, Wonderful, and Obscure, and it'll be out in the autumn of 2020. But until then, if you want to get your fill of Pittsburgh, you have to check this one out.
highlights of tonight's Yinzer night is the fact that you get to decorate a cookie. And it's kind of a salute to the hometown cookie tables at weddings, right? So if you've been to Pittsburgh and you've been to a Pittsburgh wedding, you know there are giant cookie tables. And that's in addition to all of the wedding cake and all of the other goodies. So as a salute, we are going to decorate some cookies. Let's go. It looks like a Muppet. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Oh, I'm afraid. I'm going to get rid of my tape. My tape is going to be worth it. Here we go. All right, one bite? No, I don't. Hmm. It's actually really good. Yay, me. Carnegie Science Center Planetarium for a few minutes before Stars Over Pittsburgh starts and that's included in the 21 and overnight. There's a couple of shows tonight but this yep. one's gonna be fun. We actually heard two things. First, we might be able to see a couple of planets depending on how cloudy it is and secondly we heard that Pittsburgh was just given the title of the cloudiest city. In the U.S.? Yep. In the U.S. So and I overheard him say that Anchorage is number two in Seattle of all places. <laughs> Numero three. Uh -oh. So, hey, you like cloudy days? Yeah. It's a perfect place for me. <laughs> This month's Carnegie Science Center 21 and Overnight. We yes. had a blast, man. Yep. Good times. Good All times. the yins are things. The cookie table, the what else did we see? Stars over Pittsburgh? Stars over Pittsburgh. Really, really fun. I was obsessed with stars and outer space when I was in middle school. So that was bringing back some things, some knowledge that I forgot I had. Um, and it's really, really fun to be able to check out all of the exhibits and not have to worry about stepping on little kids. Now I know that this is a family friend, friendly place, right? But still, it's fun to kind of have an adult night. It's a perfect um, date night out, which we like to do on oh, the weekends. Oh, that's a good date night. And what else? What else can you do that you can't do normally? You don't get normally to walk around the science center with a beer in your hand or a glass of bourbon. Well, there you go. That, that makes it worth it just on its own, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So again, special thanks to Carnegie Science Center for hosting us tonight. We always enjoy these events. Yes. And we are back in Pittsburgh the next three weekends in a row. We have plenty of fun things to cover, especially a lot of holiday events. And we will see you then. Thank you for watching. And we'll put some links in the description box so that you can check out our other videos if you want to. In the meantime, guys, enjoy your night. We're see heading you. home. See you soon.